The Ceremony K9 is a wireless dual-channel digital UHF microphone system with 32-bit float recording, a signal with 48 kHz 24-bit audio and an input dynamic range of 130 decibels and an analog output of 120 decibels. It uses UHF frequencies between 550 MHz and 960 MHz to ensure a stable signal in all regions. Timecode synchronization is possible via mobile app or third-party TC box, plus full control of up to 48 devices simultaneously. The system also allows for IFB real-time monitoring without noticeable delay. The receiver and transmitters can be powered with removable batteries or via USB-C and can be controlled via mobile app. To get a better understanding of how these microphones sound like in a controlled environment, I'm now set up with one of the lavaliers and the signal is wireless sent straight to the camera. In comparison, this is now an outdoor test with a lavalier and the protective wind foam. There's quite a bit of background noise, but nothing immediate, so it shouldn't be too distracting. The K9 kit comes in a rugged, portable carrying case with two TX transmitters, one RX receiver, all with lithium iron batteries, four antennas and two tiny lavalier mics with a diameter of 3 mm each. Besides two dead cats and foam windscreens, the system also features two belt clips for the transmitters, plus a clip and cold shoe mount for the receiver. Additionally, there are two 32GB microSD cards, colored labels to group devices, a USB-C cable with a USB-A adapter, a 3.5mm TRS cable and two 3.5mm TRS to XLR cables, making the system compatible with a variety of gear such as cameras, mixers, phones or laptops. For this wireless transmission test, we are now using a directional microphone, so you can kind of get a feeling how this sounds like when using other external microphones. The RX receiver has a metal finish and a weight of 162 grams with batteries inside, antennas, clip and cold shoe mount attached. The 1.47 inch color screen shows all relevant information, including audio levels, signal strength, battery life, frequencies, etc. Located inside the battery compartment are four menu buttons, which can be closed to avoid an accidental change of settings when attaching the device to a talent. To monitor connectivity, audio levels and battery status while it's mounted on top of a camera or in a recorder spec, the TX also has a unique feature, which is a second screen that is placed between the antennas. The two TX transmitters have the same high-quality build design as the RX, but weigh only 130 grams each with batteries, belt clip and antenna. The screens are identical and show basic info plus timecode. The button layout is also the same, but the T-axis feature a dedicated slot for microSD cards in front of the battery compartment to be able to record 32-bit waveform files. Onboard recording can either be manually triggered in the menu or set to auto or sync. Besides a 3.5mm headphone jack and an SMA antenna input, the TXs also have a 3.5mm TRS port to connect external microphones like the two included ceremonic lavaliers. These miniature mics are not only slim, but also feature Kevlar reinforced cabling and have an IP67 rating, making them resistant to dust and water. Regarding 32-bit float recording and dynamic range, the system performs well. Since the recorded audio level is so quiet, it's almost impossible to get any clippings or distortion, even in loud environments. But just as important for such a digital UHF system is the wirelessly transmitted signal to a camera, because it's less prone to interference issues compared to 2.4 GHz systems. The Ceremonic K9 does a reliable job at choosing the right channels and frequencies automatically without any issues. The sound from the wireless transmission is overall very pleasant, even without the use of a low-cut filter. 
The ultimate stress test for any microphone system is of course next to a busy street and that's what we're doing now with a 32-bit float recording and then we're gonna switch to the wireless transmission so you can tell for yourself whether or not this really makes a difference especially when it comes to the dynamic range. The easiest and fastest way to change settings, especially when using multiple units, is the company's mobile app. Ceremonic system displays up to 48 devices simultaneously with all relevant settings. It's possible to sync timecode, trigger onboard recording or mute a specific unit. There are multiple ways to power the TX and RX units, including the brand's own rechargeable batteries. We use standard 1.5V AA batteries and got a runtime of roughly 10 to 12 hours with the transmitters and 7 to 8 hours with the receiver. It's also possible to power all three devices via USB-C, for example with an external power bank, which doesn't require any batteries inside the units. With digital UHF systems becoming more and more refined, it's a pleasant surprise to see a substantial addition from Ceramonic. The RX's dual screen design, the premium finish and 32-bit float recording are just a few reasons why the K9 doesn't have to hide behind the competition. Especially in combination with the compact lavalier mics and the extensive number of accessories included in the kit. So if you are interested in learning more about the system, there is actually a link in the video description with more information.